Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to build a simple to-do list application using React.js and we will be harnessing the power of use state and use of act hook. And in this tutorial, you can learn one more thing. So I will show you. I open my application on a browser and here you can see I have a one input field and I have a button. When we write a value here, so here I write play game and press enter or you can simply click on this add button and our to do value will be added in our application and here you can see i reload the page our value cannot be changed here okay and again i add another value here so read a book and again reload the page you can see uh, our value cannot be changed here or removed so for that i save this value to this value in our local storage the benefit of local storage is that when we reload the page or close our application, the value will be remain safe. It cannot be removed. Okay. And here we also add our delete button. And when our play game to do will be completed, we can simply delete this. And again, read book is completed. We read a book. So delete this one. And again, I also add a value here. So here I write jump. And here, hello and you can add one more thing like uh, show like that you can enter uh, any value here so i delete again and in this tutorial you will learn how you can create a simple to-do list and you also learn how we can save the value in our local storage so let's dive into a code i open my code editor and here you can see i already create my react application you can create this application with the command like this you can see on my computer screen and after that, I run this application using this command npm start. And you can also see this on my screen. And after that, uh, I go to a browser. And here you can see you get this uh, output. But here uh, I don't need this one. I, I want to create our to do list here. So I go to VS Code Editor. And here I go to SRC folder. And in this SRC folder, I have an app.js file. And I open this. And in this, I remove this header. And here I write h1 and here I pause uh, to do. Okay, for testing, I save this file and go to a browser. And here you can see here I get to do here. Okay, in next step, I go again VS Code and here I create a component folder. In this component folder, I create one for a component. So here I write to do dot jsx in this i write refc and press enter it generate a basic component uh, structure and in this return tag uh, i write h1 and here i write two those save the file and again go to app.js file and here i remove h1 tag in this time and here i pass this to do component so first i import this so here i write import and to do component from to do and here i use this component so here i write to do save the file and go to a browser and now you can see again i get the same thing so instead of this to do i create a structure of our to do list so for that i go to a vs code and you can also remove this import logo here i don't need this one so i remove this and again go to todo.jsx and here I write instead of in h1 tag I write h1 and here I pause simple to do list after that here I use a form tag and in this form I cannot pause any action here so I remove this action attribute and in this form I write input tag and in this import our type is a text and i also give a placeholder uh, give placeholder like add a new to do you can give anything here okay and after that i add one button here and i give this button type will be a submit and here i write add and after this form tag I use our uh, UL tag in this we display our to those output 
okay so here first i write comment display to do's and after that i pass uh, this p in this p you can simply write hello for demo purpose and after that i use a button here and in this button i write uh, delete okay now i save the file and go to a browser and here you can see i get this type of output so now i want to style this but i cannot uh, focus on styling in this video i focus on only functionality you can style this to-do list according to your own uh, design so for that i go to a vs code and i copy this styling okay i copy this styling and i will show you actually what in this file written again i go to vs code and i go to this app.css file you can see here i have app.css file i go here and i select all the code here i remove this and i paste this copying code okay so here you can see i select app and app, app class in app.js file you can see here i have app class and i select this app class in app.css i give width height display flex align item center justify content text align and after that we select button and to do list we have a button tag okay oh uh, i uh, select button background color and padding and outline you, you can see i gave a simple css property and next we uh, select the input tag and then style this as a give a border padding and outline after that we select a ul and you can see i gave a margin zero padding zero and margin top 40 pixel and then you can see i select p and then i style this one and after that we style a p button here you can see i have a p and in this i have this button okay so for that i think i got this one and paste here button okay so now this is a code and now i open browser and here you can see i get this kind of structure so now i add a functionality here when i write anything here and click on add our to do will be updated so for that i go to a vs code and again go to a to do.jsx and i remove this file app.css and also app.js here first we import a use state hope import a use state from react and after that here i create a use state variable so first uh, we use here cost new do to and after that i say set new to do then i use a use state and our initial value is an empty string okay so what actually in this uh, we say so here i write a comment here i use state for storing new to do input value okay after that we create a function that handle input change so here i write handle input change and here i write function and you can also write like this cost handle change and in this uh, i write set to do and in this event dot target so here i pass the event parameter okay and after that here i write event dot target dot value save the file and again what we can do here i uh, use this handle change function in input okay so for that here i write on change event and in this i pass this handle change i copy this one and paste here and also one more thing here i use a value attribute and in this i use this new tutorial i copy this one and paste here now i save the file handle form submission handle form submission function so here i write cost handle submit and in this i have a one parameter like an event you can pass anything here so next i write event dot prevent default
and here i pass a condition if user enter an empty string and then nothing to do okay so here i write uh, if new to do uh, dot frame is equal to is equal to uh, empty string then return simply okay in next step uh, what we can do here i create one more uh, to use state uh, variable here and that store the value in our local storage okay for that here i write cost to do's and set to do's and after that i use a use state and this use state have a callback function and in this function what we can do here we initialize to do's for um, local storage or an empty array if no data is found so here i write cost and here i store to do's is equal to local storage dot get atom we can get atom from local storage like to do's and after that here i write return this store to do's and then i use here json dot parse and after that i use store to do's store to do's and then we show an empty array if we don't have any value in our uh, local storage okay so in next step uh, what we can do here i import use effect hope and use effect save the file and go to bottom and here i use a use effect hook to save to do's to local storage whenever it change so here i write use effect and in this uh, i write local storage dot set atom then i pass this to do's and json dot stringify json dot stringify and in this i pass this uh, to do variable i copy this to do and pass here and we can also here add a dependency so here i write to do's now what we can do here i go to a handle submit function and here and here i send a new to do value into the this array okay so for that uh, what we can do here i go to handle submit and in this i write set to do's and then here i spread use a spread operator we can also save the previous value here okay to do's and new to do's and when our value will be enter then we clear the uh, new to do's from input field okay so here i write set new to do's and this will be a empty string save the file so our form submission function will be a completed and we can also see we can uh, add a value in our local storage so for that i go to our forms uh, tag and here i pause this on handle submit button okay so here i write on submit and in this i pause a handle submit function and save the file now i go to a browser and reload the page and i close this console and here i write honey and click on add but this time i cannot see any value here because i cannot update in this display value for that i use a map function here so i got this one uh, sorry i got like this and here i use map function so i use a map function on this to do's value because our all uh, the value stored in local storage in this variable so i write to do's dot map and in this i uh, write to do and its index and in this i paste uh, our this code uh, p and this button and instead of this uh, hello so here i write key and in this key value i pass this index 
and instead of this hello here I write to do I save the file and I go to a browser and reload the page now I add a value here honey and click on add you can see our value will be added here honey so now uh, I want I delete this value so for that I create a function for handle delete so I go to VS code and go to here and here I create a handle delete function and here I write cost handle delete and here I pass a parameter you can add any a parameter argument like I pass index so I write cost update to do's to do dot filter we can filter a value and like to do i So in this function what we can do here, here I filter a value and when we select this index value and click on this we can delete this value and then uh, we update the to-do list. Okay, so that's I use this function in our delete button. So here I use a on click and then here I use a callback function and in this function I use handle delete and here I pass the value index okay and save the file and now I go to a browser reload the page and click on delete you can see our value will be deleted and again click on delete this one cannot be deleted what happened here so again I go here so check everything is okay so i save the file and i add one more thing here like play game press enter and click on delete you can see deleted i inspect this go to our application and here i have a local storage and here i have a this play game so i delete this play game here Now again I write here a value like uh, read book press in there and you can see I get this read book value and I click on delete but it cannot be deleted. So what happened here? So I checked off this. So in handle delete function you can see here I use I and not is equal to index here I pass not is equal to is equal to index so save the file and now again go to a browser and reload the page and now I click on delete you can see our value will be deleted and again here I write uh, honey also I write uh, read book and when I click on this delete honey it will be deleted and when I click on this read book you can see it will be deleted and again here I write a play game and reload the page you can see our value cannot be removed and when I close this application and again run this application on the browser and bm store and here you can see our value cannot be removed from our application and that's it. Uh, we have successfully built a simple to do list app using use state and use effect hook in React. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more React tutorial. And I will see you in next video.